Hello friends, welcome back to the bench. Our patient today is a Subaru Outback. We don't know which year, but based on the number, I would say 2008, maybe 2009, which is suffering from misfires. I see 608, five minute repair. I'm actually still waiting for the link to the video where someone actually does it in five minutes. But let's keep it as a five minute repair. Why not? Why not? Now let's see. No prior repair attempt. That's what we like. So. This will not be a five minute repair, but at least quicker because we don't have to be retracing damaged traces or anything like that. So at least that part will be easy. Actually, let me clean it first before I apply tape. Alrighty, three times is the charm. Alright, had to correct it twice after. F yeah, so solder it three times basically. It happens sometimes. Sometimes I get it right on the first try, 
and sometimes the solder just doesn't exactly want to flow or doesn't want to flow exactly how you want it to flow so I'm not sure what's up with that my hands are different today my soldering iron different humidity who knows or maybe it's just uh, this particular board is somehow different but it wouldn't work on the first or a second try well now it's soldered correctly yeah you could say that these could do a little retouch uh, slightly too much solder but it's completely fine it passes visual inspection that is the problem with the with this business especially in the uh, you know why I don't really trust mechanics it's well mainly the reason is I'm one of those people who believe that trust is something that should be earned not given right and you shouldn't give me crap because I don't trust you if every repair performed on my car was videotaped right and I can see it on YouTube I would have no problems <laughs> but since you just take my car into the shop and do something to it I don't know what and then charge me a lot of money <laughs> even with the simple oil change I would like to at least see you know see what the, the oil condition was um, when you when you remove the oil old oil I'm not talking about lab testing right uh, just I just want to visually assess how burned it was you see the chip is a little bit shifted but it's not a problem this is like really you know you see it under the microscope you wouldn't see it uh, with a naked eye the connections are perfectly good perfectly fine so I want to leave it like that I don't want to expose it to too much heat just for the sake of making the alignment perfect the alignment is good enough and with see with the mechanics that is the that is exactly the issue um, because um, there are a few ways the mechanics make money uh, it's either the regular hour or the repair is assessed to take you know four hours and if it takes you two hours you still get paid for four hours on the other hand sometimes the repair is you know, designed for uh, or estimated by the manufacturer for four hours but your car is in a horrible condition and instead of you know instead of that taking an uh, it's four hours it takes eight hours that happens if every bolt you touch just you know disintegrates or every bolt you need to unscrew you need to cut through it and replace it because they're completely rusted i've done jobs like that but i was charging per hour so it didn't matter how much uh, time it took me it's hard to say which one is more fair it seems fair to the the customer that the customer pays for what the manufacturer says the repair should should take right so if you work slow you make less money an hour and if you work fast you make more but that kind of works against you double-edged sword uh, because now the mechanic <laughs> will try to push those those repairs right and make it a goal this is four hour repair I want to do it in two hours and that way I double the money I make so in my view it seems better for me as a, as a customer to just you know pay the, the uh, pay for the hours that you worked right and that seems like you're not gonna be trying to to kind of speed up the repair to make extra money or you can maybe slow down the repair <laughs> to make extra money to charge me for more hours but it's like it's, it's very unfortunate battle between the, the the clients and the mechanics 
and both sides are reasonable but um, depending on or maybe um both sides are correct at the moment but we don't know who started it the mechanics are complaining about people rightfully so because uh, whenever you take the car to the mechanic the mechanic fixes something that you wanted him to fix and then something else breaks so we immediately blame the mechanic well it was working fine you touched it and now it doesn't work <laughs> right <laughs> and the clients rightfully complain that you know I take my car for a oil change they give me a list of things that should be done so I buy it and then I take it to another mechanic and mechanic says that no, either the repair was not performed or was not performed correctly or they put the wrong uh, fluid or you know, that kind of stuff. Mechanics nowadays don't even want to, to don't even recommend this business, right? It probably was, um, probably for a few reasons. I, I don't think it's only the difficult clients that make it, make this business difficult. Um, back in the day, you could have fixed everything in, on, on your car, right? Nowadays, you know, repair, repairs like these, these are kind of a DIY repairs, right? Uh, I can't test it on the bench because I don't have a software, because there's no way for me to buy that software, it doesn't exist. It only exists in the factories. Once the CM is out and in your hands, then all you can do is just replace it. No schematics, no board views, no software. Not even like a diagnostic software. I, I could live without the, the board views and schematics, but at least give me some software. Well, just like the, the, the typical, you know, OBD to readers, the code readers. Something like that, that I can connect to the um, to the ECM and put it in a test mode, force it to um, produce injector signal, force it force it to produce coil signals, that kind of stuff. So it's not the same business anymore. There's a lot of unknowns. There's a lot of anti-repair practices going on especially by the car manufacturers and heavy equipment, industrial equipment manufacturers, medical equipment. It's not only the iPhones and stuff. <laughs> All right, our time is 48 minutes. The repair is performed. Um, my record time is around 30 minutes to perform it. If you can beat that time, definitely send me a link. Uh, maybe I can improve something, but you know, remember that I'm not rushing. Also, I have to record everything. By saying have to, it's I set that bar for myself. Uh, it's not like I'm complaining about it. I decided that every every one of my customers get to see the repair from start to finish so that is kind of an added time as i always say it's not a race you're gonna do it well that's the best looking pins i've seen on these <laughs> nice Alrighty, that will do about an hour call it an hour so it's not bad now we only need to get the address from Pat because he didn't provide one in the ticket. So I can't print the label yet. <laughs> so there might be a delay, Pat. But thank you very much for your business. And thank you guys very much for watching. And I shall see you in the next one.